The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hello, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. I'm Karen, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Hall Effect sensors to make an electromagnetic chores list. In the previous lesson, we learned that Hall Effect sensors are electronic switches that can be activated by a magnet. For this project, I'm using Allegro 81104 continuous time switch Hall Effect sensors. This sensor is digital, meaning it will only output high or low. And it is unipolar, meaning that when a magnet is brought in range, the output will go high, and when the magnet is removed, the output will return low. I can use these sensors as simple momentary switches. I'll build this simple circuit to show you how easy they are to use. Here I've got the Hall Effect sensor hooked up to power, ground, and the output connected to a resistor and LED. The sensor will respond to one pole of the magnet, but not the other. So if I bring the magnet in like this, the LED turns on. And as soon as I pull it away, the LED turns off. And if I flip the magnet around, that pole does nothing. What's interesting is while the face of the sensor does not respond to this pole of the magnet, if I bring that pole of the magnet to the back side of the sensor, it turns the LED on. I can use this to my advantage. So one face of the magnet turns the sensor on this way, while the other face of the magnet turns the sensor on the other way. Now I've got two Hall Effect sensors, one face up and one face down, each connected to a different LED. Now if I put my magnet one way on top of both Hall Effect sensors, only one LED lights up. But if I flip the magnet over, the other one lights up. So for my project, there will be six slots for different chores or to-do items. Each slot will have a red LED and green LED. When a bullet point token is added next to a chore, the red LED will turn on to signal that the chore needs to be done. When the chore is done, the token can be flipped over to show a check mark, which will change the lights from red to green. Now, conveniently, I have access to my hackerspace, which has a laser cutter. So I'm gonna be using that to make the board and the chore strips. With Hall Effect sensors, the distance away from the face where the sensor is active or not is called the air gap. Because of the air gap, I have to be careful about what materials I use to make sure that the magnet isn't too far away from the sensor. I also need to make sure that I have something for the magnets to stick to. Now, after asking around and getting some advice, I got a hot tip to use one of these electrical boxes because they have these cool metal punch outs that happen to be the exact perfect size for what I was looking for. So these will go over the sensors for the magnets to stick to. Okay. Time to head to the Baudry to laser cut my board and chore strips, and then down to my e-lab to add the electronics. I wanted to be able to easily mount my list to the wall and have it look nice, so I found this picture frame, and I wanted to make sure I found one that was deep enough so that it could fit all the electronics without it protruding out the back. Okay, so I've got my board here, I've got my chore strips. Uh, I have taken liberty of putting the hook side of the Velcro on the back of these, and I have extra strips of Velcro to put the loops side where my strips are gonna go here. I have already glued my tokens to both ceramic and neodymium magnets. Uh, just in case these aren't quite strong enough, I like the bigger size of these, but these have a little bit more magnet juice. So I got these two just in case, good backup. All right, I've got my Hall Effect sensors, my LEDs, my battery pack, got my metal discs that I'm gonna glue down to hold my magnets in place, and then I've got my hooks to go on the bottom 
so that I can hang the extra chores that I don't need done right now uh, so I have a place to store them. Okay, let's get gluing and soldering. Okay, I've gone ahead and assembled everything. It's done. I've got my metal discs for my magnets to stick to. Uh, I thought about using magnetic strips to hold on my chores, but was a little bit concerned it might interfere, interact with the sensors, so instead I used Velcro. Let's try this baby out. Okay, I've got my chore here. Take out the garbage, put that there. Turn the power on. Take a token, place it bullet side up. <gasps> Red, I need to take out the garbage. <music> Bam! Green light, good to go. <laughs> I love how this project turned out. I think it looks great. Now, one tweak I might make is instead of having individual chores on little wooden strips here, I was thinking of getting some dry erase board, board and cutting out strips so that way I could write individual chores. That way if I have like some one-offs, I could do it that way. Also, another idea I had is if you have multiple people in your household, you, instead of just using red and green for to be done is done for your tasks, you could put a sensor for each person connected to a different colored LED, and then that way it could assign who is supposed to do that chore. If you have any other ideas for tweaks or mods for this project, remember to post those on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning.